Well, hi there, everyone. Welcome to another Trevor's Terrarium here at Geektopia Island. I'm Cardwell. And I'm Kevin. And that's Trevor. Uh, today, we're playing a tribe that I do not like because they hate me very much, but we are playing it and showing off again. But before we do, go and remind you that we do have a Patreon. It only takes a dollar to support us and see us grow, and we love you very much for that. Uh, the link will be down below. And today, we are playing with Fire, fire with Fire. Or Fire, Fire, or Fire! Uh, well, that is a mono red deck. But we do have a blue spirit just because of card draw and discard and all that stuff that'll help us out. Today we are playing with a uh, Rena, the Feral Warrior, the champion that when you exhaust, if you declare an attack with a fire unit this turn, put the top card of your deck under this card. And if it was a fire unit, you may deal 1000 damage to target unit your opponent controls. It's just a fun, easy way to start killing everything you can. Mm -hmm. Now, this won't trigger too often, but you can put Two cards from under the card from top or bottom of the owner's deck in any order. Put a dinosaur unit from the hand or discard zone with the cost equal to less the number of shards you control into play. That only happens twice with two cards, but that's okay. You don't really need to do it. Yeah, you're mostly using it to kill dudes off. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, our spirit, of course, is Tux the Emperor's Spirit. When you when a unit you control destroys a tower, you may draw a card, discard a card, because you want to fill the graveyard. And then you can Soul Burst, pay three, stun all units from your opponent's control. A stun means they can't do anything. So this can just help you win the game late game. All right, so the first guy of the deck is a good doggo. It's the best doggo. The best doggo. Uh, it is Bone Scavenger. It is a one drop, 1,000, and then arrive. You expel target unit from a discard zone, and then you pay one, expel a unit from a discard zone. If you do, put a 500 counter on this dude. So late game, middle game, early game, this dude's just a threat, always. Yeah. He has to be answered, otherwise he just gets out of control because you're like, cool, remove your graveyard, I get big. Yep. Thanks. Oh yeah, I guess I didn't announce this, the actual tribe, but Blazewalkers are here. So with the Blazewalkers in the graveyard, you expel them, do all their stuff. Yeah. So, but first we have Primeval Egg. It's a one drop 500 dinosaur guardian. It can't attack or deal damage, but when it dies, search your deck for a dinosaur with cost three or less and add it to your hand. Simple as that. Uh, next up is Ruka, the Dragon Soul Pugilist. There's a two drop 1000. Uh, whenever you control this card, treat this card as a dragon. Uh, this card gets plus 500 for each of your expel dragon units. And then arrive, you may expel a fire unit from your hand. If you do, draw a card. If you expelled a dragon unit, draw two cards draw instead. Two cards instead. Yeah. So this just helps you fuel your Blazewalkers a whole lot because you can expel and draw and then do their abilities. Yeah. And if you get extra bonus with dragons. So, I mean, it's just helpful. Yeah, exactly. That's pretty value because you're not wasting a card at all. Yeah. The next one is Exploding Dragon. It's a two drop, 1500. Azur, deal 1000 damage to target unit. Simple, good dude. All right, our first Blazewalker, he's one of the best ones. Blazewalker Rookie Arc, he is a two drop, 1500. Whenever this card is expelled, you may deal 1000 damage to target unit. So good. Super easy, just expel, kill. Especially with Bone Scavenger in the graveyard. If it's in the graveyard, you're just like, eh, anytime, 1000. Thanks. Yeah. Blazewalker <laughs> Scout Leah, it's a two drop, 1500. When this card is expelled, you may shuffle three year old. Of your other expelled fire units into the deck, and if you do draw one card, expel one unit from your hand, expel this card until, until the start of your next draw phase. So with the dragon one, you can get rid of two dragons, or whatever, draw two cards, and then later just put them back in the deck so you can go like search through them that way. Uh, next is the Destroyer Saurus. He's a three drop 2000 dinosaur. Arrive, you may destroy target damaged unit, and if you do, this card gains quickness. So this is what you go get with the dinosaur egg. When it dies, you just go get this dude and be like, cool, kill your thing. And if it dies, you just keep using Rena over and over to get it back. Yep. And right. it can't really stop you. Void Fire Dragon. It's a three drop, 1500. Oh, uh, well, there's a destroyed fire tower. Expel two or more fire units from your hand, whose combined total cost is at least six. Put this card from the discard zone into play. Expel it when it leaves the field. Ruin at target expel fire unit from your uh, own, except fire Void Dragon to your hand. So. This dude's really good in this deck because he, he comes back. For, for, for pr practically free, you just expel dudes and you get those abilities. Yeah. And then he expels himself, yes, but your Leah doesn't care because she can get it back. Yeah, just get it's a it fire back. unit, so it's kind of broken. Yeah, it's pretty cute. Uh, uh, Blazewalker uh, Lieutenant Ray, it's a three drop 2000. Uh, when this card is expelled, you may give a dragon unit or Blazewalker unit quickness and then expel one unit from your hand. This card enters, expel this card and start of your next draw phase. In Simple this deck, that. one of the best Blazewalkers because it gives all your dudes haste. Yeah, that's all you need. 
Uh, next is Ray Women Rider. He's one of our favorite dudes because he's super strong. He's a four drop 1500 with quickness and ruined. Whenever he dies, you get a 1000 dude. So he can kill every tower and keep going. No matter what, if you play red, you should just play this card. Yeah, dude's super good. Okay, we have Rain, the Blazewalker Commander. It's a five drop 3000. Legendary. Uh, when this card is expelled, you may rebuild the top card of your deck. If it was a dragon unit or a Blazewalker with the unit cost four or less, you may put in the play. Otherwise, add it to your hand. Expel two units from your hand. Expel this card at the start of your next draw phase. So yeah, just super powerful. Be able to expel any time. Get dudes on the field. Three, it's good. Uh, next up is the Blazing Arbiter. He's a six drop 4,000. As an additional cost to play this card, you may exhaust any number of fire units you control. If you do, this costs one less. Units you control gain quickness, and then you ignore the effects of your opponent's fire tower, which is really, really strong. Yes. So you're like, hey, don't kill my dudes. Yeah. You, you got the most fearful tower out the way, and all your dudes can just swing as, as yeah. fast as possible. I don't think we got to actually see this guy in play yet in our brawls, but I can't wait to see him. Yeah. See what destructiveness he can have. Uh, the next one is Blaze Striker Dive X Spell. Uh, put into play one Blazewalker unit you own from the hand that is expelled with the cost X. And if you do, deal damage equal to the power to any unit in the zone in front of it. I think it's, it's one of the most powerful spells ever for this set. You know, it's a build around. Yeah, because you're already paying the amount of, to cast that dude. Yeah. So this way you just get to have a free kill spell. It's crazy. It's not like X plus one, you know, that pay the extra to kill a dude. No, you're, you're fine. Uh, next is Entreat the Blazewalkers. It is a one drop expel one Blazewalker unit from your deck and then add one card with the same name from your discard or from your deck to your hand so you expel one blaze walker you go get it the same one and yep. it's ridiculously how strong this can be because you get to do all this silly stuff you're like cool expel rook or expel arc kill your dude get an arc to my hand yeah great yeah and then you just have no you have double value off of one one mana pretty much next one is void flame Ex expulsion it's a two drop spell insta cast uh play only while you have a fire unit, neither player can add to the queue to this the response to this. Uh, expel target unit or augment, and if you do, its owner draws a card. To get the big old thing that hurts you out of the way and they draw a card, it doesn't matter. Seems good. Now with that, uh, that is the deck. Uh, we'll get into the shards here. Of course, you have to have the spirit ruby. As always, uh, tap uh, spirit face down, destroy target unit. We should just have a little recording already <laughs> done, so I don't have to keep saying that every time, but we're good. We have the crypt crystal which is the boost special one and it comes into play and you look at the top two cards and rearrange them in any order which is pretty nice and then of course the normal argent shards out there simple as that with that hopefully uh, the deck list will be down below and hopefully you enjoyed your stay here at utopia island goodbye later also guys make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe to our channel and then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos and we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years, especially our Mythic and Above Patreon followers. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, with that, we love you. Thank you for your support.